All right, folks, just my quick riff on this whole story. Basically, I thought Ron DeSantis cleaned Gavin Newsom's clock in the debate last night. That's my view. Others may disagree. But really, virtually all the facts were on DeSantis' side. That is, the red state facts. And I thought he did a good job uh, defending them. Unfortunately, Gavin Newsom chose a losing strategy. And he denied that those facts existed. But those were government factoids. I mean, kind of like Newsom's hero, Joe Biden, who's incapable of telling the truth about the economy or virtually anything else. And as a supply sider, I'm especially interested in the tax story. California's got the highest taxes in the country. And Florida's one of a handful of red states with a zero income tax, all right? Importantly, talking about red states, they're all congregating towards low flat tax rates and zero tax rates, and that's why their economies are outperforming blue states. Ron DeSantis could have really just made it very simple and just said, well, your top rate of 13, that's higher than zero. Your middle rate of 8 to 9, well, that's higher than zero. And your 6% rate is also higher than zero. All right? I mean, that would have made it just that simple. Anyway, Florida's unemployment rate is lower. Florida's in-migration rate is higher. Florida spends less. Its unemployment rate is lower. Its poverty rate is lower. Its homeless rate is lower. And its gas prices are lower. But DeSantis got it all done. He got it out there. And, you know, I thought Gavin Newsom really tried to fib his way through it. And that wasn't very good. I mean, I've known Governor Newsom for many years. Very personable guy, smart guy. But he had a bad night last night. I thought he was too sarcastic, too snooty, too swarmy. I'm not saying DeSantis is Mr. Personality, but the governor of Florida was a whole lot better than Newsom was, okay? My guess is DeSantis climbs a couple of percentage points in the polls, probably against mostly Nikki Haley. The Republican race won't be changed. It's going to be all Trump all the time. Mr. Newsom, on the other hand, who had a poor night, did not help himself either as a potential exit strategy from a Joe Biden collapse or maybe even looking ahead to 2028. It was not a good night. Sean Hannity, my hero, was the real hero of the night, having a very good idea, first of all, for debating red versus blue. And second of all, Shawnee was a terrific, even-handed host. Good for my pal, Sean Hannity. All right.